the, is this portion about subjecting who we charge criminally in this country and making this by popular demand. It doesn't work that way. Hold on, Abby, Abby what is, is attacking there, you? Is there well, a mouse? Hold on. Abby, what was that? <laughs> Abby, what was that? The lizard climbing on me. Oh, Sorry. A little. <laughs> so that's where Stelter went. <laughs> worried. All this good news, has someone checked in on the press? My God, it was like he had failed an Alzheimer's competency test 36 times. He said, I can't remember. Well, they began the impeachment proceedings that this Mueller report suggests Donald Trump deserves. This report shows what Trump practices behind the scenes look like in that White House. Everybody should be extremely worried. It's still very damning. I mean, oh, absolutely. It's an, and, and politically embarrassing for absolutely. the president. And shameful. And shameful. <laughs> and unethical. They're like the best unintentional comedy duo. <laughs> now, also, you got to check, check out this is a, a, how many people they had on this CNN panel. Look at this. <laughs> That's uh, seven people and one Jeffrey Tubin. Because he's not really people. But that's a lot of folks all there to say the same thing. <laughs> but let's focus on Tubin. What's significant about the 10 incidents is that there are 10 of them. <laughs> and they all point in the same direction. And you, each, in each individual incident, there is a perhaps innocent explanation. So, each incident on its own means nothing. But if you add them all up, they mean something. <laughs> no, you are a moron. <laughs> if each one is a zero, ten of them still equals zero. <laughs> Much like, much like Tubin. Anyway, I've never seen so many people unhappy over good news. Your president is innocent, be thrilled. But also, why are they so surprised? When just weeks ago, this happened. Special counsel Robert Mueller concluded there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government in 2016. That's literally a spoiler alert. <laughs> the media were told what was coming, and yet they still pretended like it wasn't going to happen. But then, deja vu. The special counsel's report did not find any evidence that members of the Trump campaign or anyone associated with the campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in these hacking operations. So all the media got on Thursday was a reminder that they got their ass handed to them a month ago. <laughs> yet, yet it still, it still emotionally destroyed them. It reveals the difference between normal people and the media. See, normal people will watch a movie, and then when they see the same movie again, they expect the same ending. But the, but the media, they watch the same thing over and over again, thinking that maybe the ending will change. Hey, maybe old Yeller will live. Maybe the Titanic steers around the iceberg. Maybe Darth Vader isn't Luke's dad, but a, but a progressive lesbian named Doris who knits hemp booties for homeless cats. But for us, it's the same old diehard Good guy wins, bad guy loses, except it's America who wins and the media who loses. See, in this movie, America is John McClane and the media is Hans Gruber. <laughs> no wonder the press is a mess. They fell out of a window from uh, Nakatomi Plaza and made a big splat. Now they're banking on one thing, turning absence of evidence into Trump must be guilty. Rachel is already dining on that grape now. <laughs> But I watched um, Barr give his press conference this morning. All I did, I just ran straight to the office. There is a, 
ton of material here. I will be busy for the next year, <laughs> at least. I mean, these 448 still redacted pages that we got today, it's like walking into a vineyard and you just like eat the skin off a single grape. We would tell you if we figured out that he didn't commit any crimes. <laughs> it's a roadmap for how to charge this president. We can darn sure investigate you, and you can darn sure be charged when you're out of office. You can be impeached. This is like grape one in the vineyard. <laughs> you know, you know when you're drunk, and you come home to an empty kitchen, and you're starving, and you start squirting ketchup packets on the heels of moldy bread? That's the media trying to turn what little they have in the kitchen into a meal. They stare at every redacted chunk as if it's going to reveal some magical bombshell. But we know better. Seriously, we actually do. We have a special redaction removal machine and used it on the Mueller report. For example, a section about Mueller's team meeting with Trump reads, we also sought a voluntary interview with the president after more than a year of discussion. The president declined to be interviewed. The redacted part? Though the special counsel was able to confirm Greg Gutfeld can bench 550 pounds. Yeah. Must be true. It's in the reports. Here's another. This is about a Trump Tower meeting. Uh, Trump Jr., Manafort, and Kushner participated on the Trump side. The meeting lasted approximately 20 minutes. The redacted part, they cut the meeting short, however, to admire <laughs> pictures of Greg Gutfeld's muscles. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. One more, one more. I, I sense a theme. It's about Trump's meeting with Corey Lewandowski in 2017. Quote, by the end of the president's follow-up meeting with Lewandowski, the Greg Gutfeld show had become the number one show Saturdays at 10 p.m. Likely, likely because of Greg Gutfeld's impressive physique. <laughs> Mueller really understands great TV. So as frustration turns to obsession, the media is going to go through this report looking for a dangling preposition on which to hang Trump. It's like an entire industry trying to prove that the Earth is flat or the moon landing was fate. You know what would be a good prank? Announce another less redacted report in three weeks just to watch them fall for this a third time. <laughs> you could keep doing this for years. The bottom line, the press wanted America's president to be a Russian stooge, even if that would have destroyed a country. And don't expect him to stop. They're going to push the Mueller hysteria, because what else do they have? This is a pretty prosperous, peaceful era. Low unemployment, economic growth, strong military. The media can't do a thing with that. So every day on CNN or MSNBC, it's a therapy session. It's collusion anonymous. they got to talk about it every day, because if they don't, they might do something horrible, like wake up one day in 2020 and, God forbid, vote for Trump. <laughs>